Hello, and welcome to In the Spotlight, a chance to get to know the financial services practice group at Barry Dunn. I'm Susan Weber. And I'm Brooke Wells fellow team members and co-hosts of the series. We're joined today by Samantha Eady, or Sam, as we as we affectionately call her. And Sam is a manager here at Very Done. Hi, Sam. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be here. Well, we are super happy to have you with us today. This has been uh, one of those podcasts that we've been very much uh, looking forward to. And to kick us off today, tell us a little bit about yourself. Awesome. Thanks, Susan. So I actually started at Barry Dunn in May of 2018 as an audit intern. Um, I took a year after that to do my master's degree, and then I started full-time again at Barry Dunn in September of 2019. So this upcoming September of 2023, I will have been at the firm for four years. Um, I joined the financial services practice group two years ago, um, and I've been working with this wonderful team ever since then. Awesome. Thanks so much, Sam. Um, how did you get into the profession? Yeah, so um, actually, when I went to college, I did not originally go to school for accounting. Um, I actually went in as an international business major. Um, I was really convinced that I wanted to travel um, and learn a lot about the different areas of business. And after a few classes that I took at my university, I soon realized international business was not for me. And it turns out I'm actually not a very good traveler. So it's good that I switched gears. But uh, my sophomore year of of college, I actually took um, my first accounting class at the university and my professor came up to me after the, a few of the classes and was like, you have to do accounting. Like, this is great. Like, I'm so impressed. Um, you really have to move forward with this. So I thought back to my accounting class that I'd taken in high school and I was like, well, I really did enjoy this. So I think I'll, I think I'll move forward with this. So I went to whatever office I needed to go to to change my major and I changed it that day. And then from that point forward, I never really looked back. I had great advisors at school that really talked me into public accounting and getting my CPA license. Um, and that was really the path that brought me to Barry Dunn. Um, and I was offered an audit internship, like I said, and I started in May of 2018. And after my internship, it really solidified for me that I wanted to work um, in audit and public accounting and here I am today. You know, just listening to you talk, Sam, and I can see, I know the audience is not going to be able to see, you know, that that smile that's on your face the entire time you're talking, but it just occurs to me just that powerful role of mentors, right, in our lives and kind of getting us on the path that we're, we're sort of destined to be on. So you work within Financial Services Practice Group. Um, talk a little bit about the kinds of work that you do uh, within the practice. Yeah, certainly. So I primarily focus on um, audits of financial institutions that have um, 500 million or more in assets. Um, mm -hmm. I also focus on those banks that have over a billion dollars in assets and that are required to be compliant with FIDICIA. So I'm involved in a lot of the control testing um, and something pretty specific um, to me and only a few others in the financial services practice group is that I do work on a few credit unions, um, mm -hmm. which are slightly different than banks. So um, it's nice to kind of see all sides of um, the financial institution industry, if you will. Um, so I really enjoy working on those credit unions, um, which just have slightly different structures and organizational factors to them. Um, so that's primarily what I focus on, mainly during the fall and the winter time. And then in the summer, I work on um, employee benefit plan audit engagements. So mm -hmm. audits of 401ks and 403bs, um, which there's lots of them that are going on in the summer. So it certainly keeps me busy. Um, but that's kind of my off season specialty. So Sam, within the work that you're doing in the financial services group, is there anything you're really passionate about? Yeah, thanks for asking, Brooke. Something that I have really found that I'm passionate about is not even related to the audits that I'm doing, but it's really getting to know the individuals that I'm working with at my clients. So talking to my clients about things that are not related to the audit, asking them, like, do they have any vacations coming up? Like, what are they interested in? And see to see if I can find a common interest with them to relate. Um, really building relationships with those people at the clients is really 
really, um, really important to me uh, because I feel like it makes the transition um, to asking for all of these things that we need for the audit much easier. And I really enjoy getting to know these people on a one on one basis. And I've actually had the pleasure of going out on the golf course with some of my clients and spending that time with them and getting to know them um, and just really having some fun conversations with them. Outside of audit, you know, what else have you sort of involved yourself with at the firm that you really enjoy? Yeah, so you mentioned earlier um, kind of having a great mentor and how important Mm -hmm. that is to keep you moving. Um, And I think that our mentorship program at the firm is so excellent. And so I decided pretty shortly after I started that I wanted to get involved with recruiting and share with potential candidates that we have like this amazing mentorship program um, and we have such an amazing firm. So I wanted to really showcase that. So I started getting involved in recruiting um, about two years ago. So I started by by attending um, campus events at colleges and universities and just sharing knowledge and facts about Barry Dunn with um, potential candidates. And then I started getting involved in the interviews and now I'm really involved with um, managing the interns that we bring on board for summer and winter. So it's become a pretty big part of my um, passion about working at the firm is bringing in people and showing them what Barry Dunn can really do for them and why it's such a great place to work. Sounds like you're really involved within Barry Dunn, but outside of Barry Dunn, is there anything that really you love to do that people can find you outside of work? Absolutely. So if I'm not working, you will 100% find me on the golf course. So (laughs) about five years ago, my husband bought me three golf clubs, um, two fairway woods and a putter. And he was like, I want to see if you like golfing. Um, And I was I was not very open to it at first. I "I don't think I'm going to be very good. Um, But after playing a few rounds, I was immediately hooked. So um, ever since then, I've just really gotten into it. And I think almost every weekend that I don't have anything else going on, I usually play 18 holes of golf on Saturday and Sunday if I can. Um, So I've gotten a lot better, which is great. Um, It keeps me motivated. And I also just recently bought myself some new clubs. So I'm really getting used to those. And it's, um, it's been quite an experience, but it's super enjoyable. I can play with so many different types of people and it also provides the opportunity for me to just meet so many people out on the golf course and spend four to five hours getting to know them so and so you've definitely progressed past those first three clubs if you've got new I have. <laughs> I have more than three clubs in my bag now so I really admire you because I can't seem to play golf without a windmill involved right I mean I'm I am like a killer mini golfer but um you know the the full golf course is a bit intimidating so I was was, that's great that you enjoy it what do you do in the winter though right you can't golf your do you like do virtual golf practicing I I do do your golf league in the winter time so and and as as we know in in our financial services practice group the winter time is our busiest time so Mm. really every like Saturday or Sunday um I'll go and play in my winter indoor simulator golf league just to keep the swing fresh um and i am really i call myself more of an indoor cat i don't really like to go outside when it's cold so it's perfect for me that's awesome (laughs) that's awesome (laughs) well sam it was fun getting to shine the spotlight on you today before we go are you ready for a quick accounting joke i sure am (laughs) all right where do actors that don't pay taxes perform She's thinking. I'm thinking. I'm not sure. I think you got to break it to me. In the auditorium. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> I love it. I love a good accounting joke. Oh, well, we are so thankful that you do. And on that note, thanks, everyone, for joining. Be on the lookout for more of your favorite professionals in the spotlight. <laughs>